When the rain hits my window, I take it <laughs> Me some, me and Timberland We sang a dangle We so tight that you get our styles tangled Sway your do si do like you loco Can we get pink at night like Coco? Can we get pink at night like Coco? Can we get pink at night? Can we get pink at night? By your sweet princess Zuka. Can we get pink at night like Coco? Like like Coco. Okay. And yes, this is a long story uh, which I'm depicting from the previous, I don't know, three, four, five videos. I just continue. I am respectful to the opera singers and I wasn't part of them because they have little groups and they study at the conservatorium, for example, or sing here and there. And I was not a threat to them because I wasn't part. My voice wasn't quite there yet, so I was not, never a threat. So it was a good position to start from. And that they loved me for me being encouraging. So El Sivan was created at that year, inaugurating the very first and also the very last large opera workshop, hosted by El Sivan, of course, paid for, where 28 teachers and coaches would come from all over the world, from the finest opera houses to teach lessons to the small group of Mexican to aspire be opera singers. I was there every day as a listener. Yeah, I, I was given maybe two or three lessons, but I was, I just was there because that's what I was. I was just there. After that, uh, some teachers would be taken from Mexico and they're would be giving lessons out to students for free because El Sivan paid for it. So yes, I did take lessons with Jimmy Dempster, for example. I did not have to pay for it because I was just part of El Sivan. And it was very simple because I would just appear at Jimmy's store. I knew Jimmy from before. I had met him before, the Sivan. And he said, yeah, cool, lesson is on. <laughs> and he would charge El Sivan for the lessons. Not much of a tramite, not much of a bureaucratic endeavor. Yet soon, of course, there were rising different places, uh, new singers, and now La Beba needed to create her little clan. I am cool, and whoever says I'm cool, she says, is gonna be in. And whoever says I am not cool is gonna be out, so she won't let me out. You have to listen to the previous videos, I guess because of the Roro story. I wasn't applauding her being gossipy, what an innocent person with nothing to do with the horrible things. No matter how forwarded he was in his voice or not, she had no right. She must have read it in my face. <laughs> my face comes with subtitles. All right. So. In the second year of the workshop, two years I attended, and then I exited Mexico. In the second year, I barely made it to be there, so I did the audition, and she put me that cuadro. You're he putting her little atichinkle to ask, which, I don't know, did he ask me my age, or did he ask me which year I was born? Either way, pointing out for the same. And of course, I'm most stupid. I got him the answer, the one he had on the paper, and that's all there is to it. But now, I could have guessed it, but I wasn't really sure, but I am being affirmed in the field. Now she started to bark at me in other ways. For example, she gave me, she appointed lessons at 10 a.m. for me. Okay, so first and foremost, for a general audience, I was still a mezzo-soprano at the time, not a soprano. And everybody knows that the sopranos have to start rehearsal and then the mezzo-sopranos come in because of the heavy voices that cannot really make it very early in the morning. Now, 10 a.m. is not really very early in the morning, but that is the time vocal lessons and coaching starts. Because at 8 a.m. we all have to go do yoga. Strenuous exercise for two exact hours, all of us. Nobody had done yoga. Oh wait, one singer did. Okay, one singer. Uh, Emmanuel, he was really good at that yoga. No, right in front of me. Oh my God, was he good at that? I don't know, he was like 18. 
he was also a good singer, by the way. Um, there is a special masterclass where a few singers are elected. And that means that they are on stage now, which is the room. And we all, we singers, we all have to look and listen. They're on stage and the coach comes and tells the singer what is right and what's not. Maybe three or four, don't know. He was one of them. He was 18 and he performed Handel. That's not really opera, but it's ecclesiastical. It's good. And then the coach said, wow, you are already an artist. And that was, what an elogio, what a compliment. But he was right. I remember the moment because the performance was Excelsior. 18 and already the voice, which is interesting. Maybe he wasn't 18. <laughs> because you're not supposed to start vocalizing until you're like, I don't know, certain age. Because it is said you can damage your voice if you start too early. No, you can vocalize, but operatic, that's not it yet. Because of the body not being developed in very many ways. Okay, so he did yoga, I remember. No, I liked him. I, by, by the way, I had nothing against La Beba or her teaching class. I have absolutely nothing against her. I don't know where they all pulled that out, man. I'm kind, I'm respectful. I have no nothing against anybody, by the way. Okay, I didn't like the stinking singer <laughs> because of her ego, because it was so exhibited, because she had no right to be so egotistical because she wasn't really great in no place. But never mind, I just walked away. The only reason why I looked at her is because Roro told me. Well, everybody knew, now he's he, he's banging her. <laughs> well, Roro got, got it and now she got some too. How about that? <laughs> Fuck it. Let's not talk about them, man. What do I care? <laughs> no, it was weird. The combo was very strange. It's like French food together with a nasty fast food restaurant. What can they do together? No, being, of course, the singer, the mezzo-soprano, Belém, what's her name? Belém Rodriguez. Yeah, last name like Abeva, huh? Is that right? Doesn't mean anything. Rodriguez is very common in Mexico, all over the country. Belém being that uh, fast food, nasty place, and El Roro, yeah, he was pointing to French food, man. Never mind, he was so diminished. He must have had a very harsh Mexican mother to be so disturbed in his brain that even Belém made it for him. Whatever. <laughs> okay, so here goes La Beba. And now she puts me up at 10 a.m. lesson. And that's harsh because from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. we have to have yoga. And then you have to go have breakfast and a shower. And how on good Lord's earth am I going to finish at 10, which is a very large terrain, walk all the way to what? To my room, to the breakfast area, or to my lesson in like no time. At 10 starts my lesson, my vocal lesson, and at 10, and at 10 ends the yoga. And have a shower, get dressed, make up because you're respectful, but I am. Have food to actually be able to perform after two hours of strenuous exercise, but you cannot have breakfast before exercise because it's not good for you, first. Second, breakfast would not have been served before eight. I didn't like that, that was terrible. terrible. I never really thought about it because I'm not that person, I don't look at those things. Yeah, I'm not rich. But that's why she put me up, being a mezzo, that, that wasn't nice. And then her sister, it was like a fat lady, not that, who was working in the kitchen and the food every day. It started to bang and boycott on me. And I have no clue why. But if I done to her, I didn't even know she existed up there. Putting little trampas, traps and, and impediments onto me to give me food. I don't understand. It was so weird. And then her Atichinkle, he too, did not resolve an issue I needed to address with them. And I asked him, please tell me, what is it going to be? I asked him before I even arrived to Saltillo. He said, nah, blah, blah. I don't know what he said, but he never confirmed and concluded. And the entire workshop, he never confirmed and concluded. And at the end, he flapped me in the face by saying, yeah, you need to pay in all that extra money. What? That's like the procedure, right? I tell you, it's all good. Don't worry about a thing. And then I'm going to go and charge you big money for nothing because it was not really anything I took. I did not occupy extra space or extra anything.
the being mean from behind one's back. That's what I addressed at the time. Why do you want to be mean? There is no reason to be mean. It's not about the issue, because there is no issue. Just say, this is this and this is that. The workshop is at these dates, that's it. You don't need to be flubbling around and say, I don't really know at what time it starts. I don't really know. And then tell you why you did not arrive because, you know, and it was that person who didn't hold you which time. No, I'm just making an example. It's not what happened, but I'm just making an example. Or maybe she knows that this time I wasn't listening to her gossip, but this time it was actually Ruby Tagle the theater teacher and the yoga instructor, yoga and exercise, all that, not only yoga, a lot of things she did there with us. She was giving out the gossip from her own life with the singers. No, they were all in good terms with me. So what is the point of being mean to anybody at all? What did I do to anybody? What did I do? I showed them the mirror. Drop top, point shop, will I sell it? Hell nah! Four wheels, ten toes, dress low, relax, eight tracks in the council. Jeez, drive round of an endo, please keep that on the down low. Well, I got no fancy features, fuzzy dice, couple speakers, radio, no receiver, gas light on, but I don't believe it. Road trips in a cappuccino, spill the coke, bag of Cheetos, engine gon' blow like a pack of C4, blown out smoke to the boy's steamboat. Big dreams, never sleep though, bag gon' hop like an El Camino, modified my bitch illegal, parts come cheap down in Puerto Rico. Drop top beater, quarters in Meter, cranking up the heater Cause one. the AC doesn't so, work oh, Drop top beater, call could call me Peter As the big friend, sorry, love him a two-seater uh. Drop top beater, <laughs> drop top beater Drop top beater, drop top beater Quickie cops, spin the block, will I stop? Hell nah I got the lab, it's a special powder that I bought it, use my hundred thousand Overheat on summer evening, she wanna tie the lead, can't be salvaged Seven deep, shit super crowded, go A to B, I don't do rerouting